Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm standing inside of the Nexus inside of No Man's Sky, and over by Johnny Five, something curious has happened. Now, normally, above his kiosk, there is a progress bar. Now, you can see the sort of, like, the haze of the hologram that used to run in the centre of it. This sort of, like, sort of green plasma-type field that you can see there. But at the ends of this were, like... Quicksilver markers and then there was segregated segments to show how many tiers would make up that particular item and how long it would take to unlock. That has completely vanished decated from the actual kiosk itself. The items themselves have stopped despite us knowing full well that well, there's more things queued up inside of the game files. When I say that there's more things queued up inside the game files, if you have the No Man's Sky Assistant app, you can actually see what is next inside of the game files. So if I jump on over to my camera for a second, boom. The No Man's Sky app is the middle one on the top row of those icons right there. You can get it for free off of the App Store. But if you go into there, and then you want the Community Missions one, which is just down here on mine, Community Missions. Whoop, wrong one community missions try and do that back to front and if you hit on next community rewards pow you can see there there should be three decals coming in hit next then another three ice statues which were perfect for the winter season considering that february takes us to march and march is spring ice statues don't really have much bearing then do they and then we've got another three decals so yeah Technically, those should have rolled on in, and they haven't rolled on in, despite them being inside of the game files, people. So what can we take from that? We can't really take too much from that, I suppose, people, other than maybe something is afoot. Maybe something is going on. Oh, look, there's a foot right there, actually. <laughs> but no, maybe something is going on. Maybe the way that we run missions isn't going to be solely through Johnny Five anymore. Why would I say that, people inside of the view of us? Well, funny enough, draw inside the sort of like the Echo sort of content and also the ARG that is currently running because we've just done part three of the ARG. Part four is still yet to drop. But we actually assembled this guy, this giant assembled construct that right now just talks gibberish. It doesn't really give us anything. I'm wondering whether we're going to start running missions for this guy for a little while. I don't think we can fully rule out Johnny Five and the Quicksilver store. I think he'll probably come back into fruition. But I, I'm wondering whether they might, might alternate from season to season. And perhaps we might start running some sort of Echoes sort of running. I mean, we're supposed to be bringing back memory fragments for this guy. I mean, look at him, the poor guy. He's in bits still, really. I mean, let's face it. So I'm wondering whether there's going to be more to it. I'm wondering whether this guy's going to give us missions as well as the old Johnny Five. What do you guys think? Sound off in the comments. Heck yes. Now, when you dive into your catalogue inside of your actual UI, when you go to uh, decorations under the base parts and on tab three, we've got a few interesting parts that are sort of greyed out. We've got one that I've got a question marks there. I don't know what that freaking is. But we've also got a wall. Yeah, go okay, lovely. Brilliant, eh? We've also got a Link King posed basic structural item used in conjunction with wall to modules to create 90 degree corners. Pretty nice. And then we've got this, which is a roof platform. We've also got a large wall. Okay. And a curved wall. All these items have sat there greyed out for me for a little while, and I have no idea what the question mark one is. But that is rather curious. I'm wondering whether they're going to appear in the next update. So that's something that I feel needs to be completed. Don't believe there's any more in there, just on the tab three, just gone through. And also, if you go to your discovery, well, if you go, oh, sorry, if you go into your catalogue, I needed to go back a few levels. And then if you go to uh, Wonders down in the bottom corner here, you can see here. Oddities recorded 36 of 78. Okay. When I go into my Wonders catalog, if I go through each of these, the treasures, I'm only missing one on this page. I can't unlock that for the life of me. If you've got that one unlocked, let us know how. But if you're going to collect glitches, I've collected all of them. Planetary records, I've recorded all of them. Fauna records, they're all complete. 
Flora records, all complete. Mineral records, all complete. So I've actually completed everything I possibly can. Personal records, you know, it doesn't really matter if you pin those or what have you. But that sort of 36, it's nowhere even, it's nowhere even close to 78. Nowhere even close. So I think maybe the Wonders catalogue is going to get a little bit of a look-see inside of said update as well. So I'm thinking there might be changes, not only to missions inside of the Nexus, but also to the Wonders catalogue. And that makes me, wonders, makes me wonder if it's going to be a bigger update than what we just saw inside of the trailer. You know, the old station and the new ship. Is there going to be changes to the way we run missions? Is there going to be extra additional things added to the Wonders catalog. I would like to think that evidence may suggest that that is the case. I'm not going to say 100% suggests it's the case, but evidence suggests that it could be on the cards, people inside the view of us. Other things that I really hope are going to be inside of the actual update is we've had this little chap over here, Artemis, uh, no, not Artemis, Ariadne, sorry. Ariadne disappear into the void during some weekend mission lore from a few years ago. She went mission, missing in the void in between star systems and aboard a dark freighter. Now we have had new sort of freighter dreadnoughts added into the game. I don't know whether that's the same dark freighter as what Ariadne went disappearing onto. But it would be nice to be able to bring back memory fragments and perhaps bring Ariadne back into iteration because what we have right here is a clone and a doppelganger and perhaps some sort of dodgy interloper that's a, a spy for somewhere maybe even the void mother now as I said at the start of this we're part three of a four part ARG story arc and we know this because Sean Murray said that there was four parts to an ARG arc happening inside of game and we know that the last couple of sort of you know, expeditions and updates that we've had completed part two and part three. We're still waiting on part four. So I still think there's going to be quite a lot of lore to come in when it comes around to be in for the Echoes and also the Void Mother. Hence why I was pointing at the autophage that we built up there as perhaps doing something more. I kind of feel that he's going to be tied into the last part of the part four arc that we should be seeing. And in, in, in suit, I think it's coming. I think it's coming. Is it coming in February, though? I really don't know, people. February is going to be a very telling time inside of the verse, I reckon, anyway. So, depending on whatever happens in February, I think would sort of suggest of what might be happening for the rest of the year. If February turns out to be quite a small update, I'm wondering whether Hello Games has already got quite a large update, and they're going to split it down into, say, four different parts, you know, and then spread it across the year and make this really last. Mainly the reason I'm saying this is that we all know that they're working on Light No Fire, and Light No Fire is their new IP. So I'm thinking, if 2024 is going to be one of the last years that Hello Games is working on No Man's Sky, what would I do if I was a developer of No Man's Sky? Well, I would try to bottom out and add depth to all existing parts that need them adding in. And if they don't make logical, sensical sense or aren't fun, a bit like, say, the settlement building and the relationship you have with your settlers and being an overseer, perhaps maybe revisiting that, reworking that. Maybe adding more sort of skill into getting your first S-Class freighter rather than it just being re-rolls. You know, we have a time limit now to take out those giant dreadnoughts. What if they applied the same sort of time limit mechanics to the other freighters that you actually get? The more they get damaged, the less of the class it is. The quicker you rescue it, the, ch what, the higher the chance of getting in the next class. Would make sense. And they've already got the code on the dreadnoughts. Move it over to the freighters in a roundabout way. And that's another thing that people have pointed out to me inside the verse. I've said, Captain Steve, when I go aboard my freighter, some of the NPCs in the lower deck where all my ships sit have started to sink into the ground. Do you think they might be adding changes to freighters? Well, to be honest, people, I haven't checked my freighter to see if I've got the same thing happening. I'm just flying out of my uh, out of the Nexus right now. I'm calling in the actual uh, my freighter and flying aboard it. We'll have a look, see, and see if that's a thing for me. But you know, it, it might not be a thing for me. It might only be happening on certain freighters, but it could be an indication that something is happening inside of the verse when it comes to freighters. Anyway, let's jump back over into game. Let's jump on out of my ship and let's see if it is the case. 
No, look, their feet are firmly on the ground for me. So, yeah, my little guys haven't sunk into the old ground. But apparently some people are reporting that theirs have. I've seen other people reporting that their NPCs on their actual freighter deck have changed as well. Some of their actual NPCs have changed to become in the autophage. You know the big man spider that you see inside of the old Nexus now? Apparently, some people have got that guy roaming about inside of their actual complex. But now I'm just checking the feet on all of my guys. None of them are actually sunk. No matter where I look, they are all got their feet firmly on the ground. So I haven't got that problem. I haven't seen the autophage scurrying about inside of my freighter either. So those that have, you know, that's very odd, very weird. But my freighter is all tickety-boo. Tickety-boo people inside the view of us. So I can't actually confirm or deny that. To be honest, I don't think they're going to change too much when it comes to freighters. I think the main thing, if they were to change anything, is to give us the ability to change this actual bridge area and maybe have a selection of a few different types so we can personalize our deck to how we want our deck to be it'd be nice to have a more star trekky type feel in in the actual deck in my opinion well, that's what i'd go for anyway i want a captain's chair heck yes i do but no i'm not seeing any changes aboard my freighter but other people have reported that they have coolio so people I've also had some people saying, Captain Steve, there might not even be an update in February. You know, you're bigging this up. There might not even be an update. The reason why I think there might be an update inside of February is because we've had an update in February for the last, since 2020. The first being like, what, Living Ship. And then we had like, what was it? Uh, Living Ship. Then we had Companions. Then we had Sentinel. And now it's current year. So I'm hoping... We can, we can go by patterns. We can't always go by patterns. We've been proved wrong by trying to go by patterns in the past. If there was to be an update coming in February, we should start seeing the signs. We should start seeing the depots update and we have seen the internal branch get an update, but we haven't seen that get pushed to experimental. If it was patches or bugs, I would have assumed it would have gone over to experimental by now and maybe even gone to public. I honestly think that the reason that we've seen a lot of changes inside of the actual Nexus is because they were probably testing the latest expedition. And that's why we did see the bar go to five segments at one stage, like they were testing an expedition. I think there is an expedition on the cards and I think that we're getting quite close to an update coming into the verse because we've seen the internal branch update inside of Steam. What we haven't seen as yet is the sales start. So that to me says that it's not going to be happening within inside of the next seven days, perhaps. When we see the sales happen, I think that kind of gives us an idea that perhaps we're going to see the update happen seven days after we see the sales start taking place. I don't think we're going to see the sales start to happen until around about the 14th of February. And the reason I say that is because the last sale on Switch ended like on the 13th of last month and 30 days from there takes us to the Valentine's area. They may even do some sort of Valentine's promotion over on Steam anyway, which Hello Games could take advantage of and put No Man's Sky in the sale of. We can only but wait and see. So I'm quite excited for February. I kind of think that we might see a bigger update than just the stations and that ship, mainly because of all the weirdness that we're seeing around the Nexus. I think we can hand on heart say for sure that we're probably going to get some sort of expedition, hence why they haven't kicked over into the new Quicksilver items, because we're going to get a new expedition. And I'm wondering whether those, those rewards for the expedition are going to be quite lovely, because they've held off on the Quicksilver for such a long time. And I'm also wondering whether they might even revisit and change up the way that we run Quicksilver missions and give us something a little bit more interesting to do from the autophage. Perhaps some sort of raid system, diving into the void for a short period of time to bring back rewards and trinkets for that guy to sort of decrypt. A little bit like, you know, Destiny with the Ingram system. Perhaps we're going to get Echo packets that he decrypts and we're going to get some really cool stuff from there. I don't know. I mean, if I was the developers of No Man's Sky, I would think, how can we bring players back in to play over and over again? Some sort of RNG raid system, to me, is kind of the obvious thing to go with. 
Anyway, what do you guys think? Sound up in the comments. Let us know. Do you feel that there could be some sort of logical feeling to this? Is that what your gut is telling you? Because that's what my gut is telling me. Do I need to have more Actamel or some Weetabix in the morning? Is my gut irregular? Yeah, let me know. <laughs> anyway, people, I'm going to end off now. But that's everything I've got for you. What I would say is keep an eye on the Steam Depots. Keep an eye out for sales. Keep an eye out for those signs, people. Watch Sean Murray like a hawk over on twitter let's see if he gets a little bit more active in the upcoming week or so because i think we're going to start seeing the signs coming together around the 14th of feb which is only really a week away yeah another seven days and two days whatever nine days nine more sleeps people then i think it, we can start to ramp up the whole old hype train around then i'm hoping we get to see an emoji around then as well we've already had that little snippet of a trailer if you haven't seen that little snippet of a trailer i've probably played it a few times over there in that blank space yeah along with perhaps light no fire but the reason i think this year might be a big year is because of what sean murray said at the game awards if you didn't hear what sean murray said even you missed it here it is just for you guys in the view of us well to start with uh next year is going to be a really big year for no man's sky like you said i've been working on it for 10 years now and i still really love it still really enjoy it so there you go from the actual murray himself he said 2024 is going to be a big year for no man's sky and i think that that is going to be around polishing current features add in depth to current features finishing off the lore and making this game feel like polished as polished can be because if they are moving to a new ip the last thing they want is loose ends inside of their old title so i think 2024 is going to be a cleanup year and if it isn't a cleanup year then i think that means that light no fire might not see the light of day that's all i did that was quite good wasn't it until August of 2025, and then perhaps 2025 would be polish and depth adding to No Man's Sky and putting that little bow on the top or adding cherries on the top, depending on which analogy you want to go for. Heck yes. But that, that's my thoughts and feelings. That's what is coming from the old gut, like I said before. Until next time, people, sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think. Oh, actually, you did. You did let me know what you think. Yes, I did a poll, didn't I? Let's bring up the poll, people. Okay, well, you can see that it's appeared behind me, but I want to be by the side of it. Chicka pow pow! Chicka boom boom! There we go. That's better, isn't it, people? Okay, right, so if I just uh, scroll on down on here for a second. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Here's my poll, peeps. And we also got 19 comments. Holy fudge. Okay, right, so I put out to the actual community, what do you think it's going to be in way of update size? Do you think it's going to be like next size or what? We had 16% of people said, Hello Games said they would rather do smaller updates more often. They have said that in the past. They have. Yes, after they done Origins, they said now we're going to start doing smaller updates. Okay, the latest trailer showed the reaction to Next as big in Feb. Yeah, so during that sort of trailer for the actual stations, there was part of that that showed how No Man's Sky has progressed, and it showed the reaction to Next where everybody's going, Wow, oh my god, woo, wow! And it could be that Sean Murray wants that similar sort of fanfare, you know, and go out with a bang. Yeah, it could be. But then 34% think that it might just be the space stations and the ship and the smaller updates this year. Sean of the Murray has also said, rather than show people what we're working on, we're going to show people what we've completed. So that trailer of showing the ships and showing the actual space stations, maybe that's what they've completed. Maybe that's not the full thing, but maybe that's what they completed at the time. Maybe they've been working like freaking beavers possessed, making a damn over the whole of january and maybe we're going to get something in february we can only but hope and see okay sean said that 2024 will be a big year at the game awards which i paid you that bit of footage do you think that's true i mean he did move on to light no fire rather quickly rather prompt you in almost like yeah 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 it's gonna be big ah anyway look what we've been working on it felt like a bit of a Passover, in my in my opinion. It didn't feel like the gravitas. Or, or He didn't look as excited about No Man's Sky as he did for Light No Fire, but maybe that's obvious. Maybe you would be more excited about announcing something really new, up-to-date, it looks really swat. Yeah, yeah, come to think of it, that makes total sense as to why you were so excited for Light No Fire and not so excited for No Man's Sky. 
Okay, seeing changes in the Nexus catalog discoveries surprise February. I kind of think that we might be in for a slight surprise in February. I think there is a chance, and it is probably a 4% chance. <laughs> you know, you're, I'm talking slim chances, people, that we might get a rework for the missions. The autophage might come into play. We might get part four of the ARG in February. But February has never been about big updates. It's been about a little bit of lore, something new, something fun. Living ship was fun, a little bit of lore came with it, a little bit of story came with it. Yeah, so I honestly think we could be in for being for a bit of a treat, but I think it's going to be a fun treat, you know. I don't think it's gonna be massive. No, oh, I went and clicked on something. Anyway, people, that's pretty much everything I've got for you anyway, and I, I know I've said that a couple of times now, and I haven't ended off. But this is really truly the end now. That is, that is pretty much everything I've got for you. Jump over to that poll. If I wouldn't have clicked off of it, I would have clicked into the comments and shown those on screen quickly. There's a couple of good ones in there. Go and take a look. Go and add your own if you really want to. You can still vote on that poll. But anyway, people, I am excited for February for two reasons. The first reason is if we see a large update, then I honestly do think that's going to set the tone for the rest of the year. And I honestly think Hello Games is going to put their foot to the floor and try and get No Man's Sky as polished and as depth added as possible and to be in as complete as possible for Light No Fire on that launch. If February turns out to be a small update this year, and we already know about the stations, the stations got leaked in the game files like the other year, and the new ship, if that's all we get to see in this part, then I think Hello Games have probably got a bigger update for the year and they're splitting it into four parts or, or three parts and going to deliver it throughout the seasons of the year. That's why I said four. And maybe have four expeditions. I know we only had three last year, so that's why I'm saying three or four. Then maybe we will get something large, but it would be in pieces. So I still think it could be a big year either way. But if we get something really big in February, then they're probably going to want to try and top that for their summer update. So they can only go bigger, is what I'm thinking. So let's see. Let's see what happens. I don't want to overly get excited until we see what happens this February. This February for me is where it all comes together as to where we can place our hopes and speculations and idea of future progression. So yeah, let's get that locked in. Anyway, until next time, people. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.